Does a ham radio call sign have a hidden meaning? Some do. I'll explain coming up. KN4 NEH, this is N4 NGMA. 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 Hi, I'm Jim, N4BFR, one of the instructors at Ham Radio Prep, and I'm ready to reveal the secrets of amateur radio call signs. Every licensed amateur radio operator, or ham, has a unique call sign. That's not just a US rule either, it's international. The basics of a call sign are this. It's a combination of typically four to six letters or numbers that's globally unique. I can say for sure, there's currently no other ham in the world that uses N4BFR group of numbers and letters to identify themselves. When you get into ham radio in the US, your first call sign is always assigned from a pool. In fact, mine was KJ4FIK. I'll use this call as an example to break down the parts of call signs and reveal what they mean. The first letters are for country, so N or KJ in this case. The United States is allocated a pool of call signs, starting with the letters N, K, W, and AA through AL. So just by knowing this, you know I'm a ham licensed in the US. What about other countries? Well, when I operated in the Cayman Islands, they had me use ZF2JS. The ZF portion helped define the country. If it had been England, it might have started with a G or M. New Zealand call signs happen to start with ZL, and the list goes on. The letter grouping of K, N, and W goes back to the 1920s. Have you noticed that your local TV station's call sign starts with a K or W, or that every US airplane starts with the letter N? That's the same concept. All have US licensed transmitters. Let's move on to the number. In my KJ4FIK call, I received the number four because I got my license in the southeastern US. If I was in Maine, I would have gotten a combination with the number one, six for California, and so on. This map shows the areas, including some special handling outside the continental US. The letters in a two by three call, which means two letters, a number, and three more letters, are typically handed out consecutively. So a new ham in Ohio would get a call like KE8XXX, while the next to pass their license would be issued KE8XXY, and so on. Unless you intentionally change it, you keep that call as long as you remain licensed. And yes, that means you can have a vanity call in ham radio. What call you can get depends on your license level. Starting off, you can get any qualifying 2x3 call at any license level. So if you want to be KL7XYZ, you have to live in Alaska and no one else can be using it. Any license level can also get a one by three call like, well, N4BFR. I picked this call out because the initials BFR meant something to me. It had been used in the 90s by him who passed away and was idle for 20 years, so I was allowed to revive it. Call signs are made available for reuse after they've been idle for two years, and there are some special rules in place to handle passing down a call sign to another family member. You have to be an amateur extra license holder to get what's become the holy grail of call signs, a one by two call, like K1JT, which currently belongs to physicist Joe Taylor. These are very coveted. There are also two by one calls, which are also only for extras. Two by two calls can be for extra or advanced level hams. Don't worry if it's confusing, there are websites that help sort through getting these prized calls. Back to my call sign for an example. I'm an amateur extra, but I never made the jump to a one by two call. There's nothing requiring a different call if you're an extra. I could still be KJ4FIK if I wanted, but I feel like I've built an identity around N4BFR in the last 10 years, so I haven't upgraded yet. One last group of super precious call signs are the rare one by one calls. These are call signs like K2N, and they can be requested for special events. You'll see radio clubs use these to celebrate anniversaries or special occasions. For instance, the Atlanta Radio Club arranged to use K0K 
during a big radio event as part of the celebration of the 120th anniversary of its hometown beverage, Coca-Cola. Let's recap. You will initially get assigned a two by three call as a new ham with a technician license. You can upgrade to a one by three at any time, or once you get your extra, jump to a one by two or two by two call if available. And it's great fun using a one by one during a special event to really stand out on the airwaves. There was one call that broke all these rules though, because this ham assigned themselves the call sign JY1. That's assigned to the country of Jordan, and that country was run by a ham radio fanatic during the 70s. Everyone wanted to get JY1 in their log to show they made contact with His Majesty, King Hussein of Jordan. In addition to having that in your log, once you confirmed, you received an elegant QSL card that went with it. Here's the one Ray, GW4PUC, received. Assigning yourself the very best call sign in the country is one of those times when it's good to be the king. I hope next time you hear a ham radio call sign, you remember these little insights into how calls are derived. For more articles like this one, or to get started on your licensed studies, visit us over at hamradioprep.com. I'm Jim, that's N4BFR on the air, 73, and we hope to hear you on the air soon.